Good morning. Hello, I'm Bernardo Brio. I did yearbook. I am Lou Morton, and I made Pass Your Passer. Uh, hi, I'm Joe Shea. I made the present. Hi, I'm Jane Park, and I made a piece of piece. And I'm the tra uh, translator for Director Park.
Did anyone else like a dark movie? <laughs> Joe? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I, because I really like the horror film, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I had this uh, about, uh, story about the obsession about grow crazy for the love. Yes. <laughs> Peace Piece is also just an yeah. evil movie. <laughs> 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 그래서 저도 몰랐고 그래서 보고 싶지 않았던 저희 좀 그런 어두운 면, 잔인한 면들을 보게 됐던 것 같아요. 그거를 지금은 좋은 기억이 됐지만 그걸 이제 너무 강렬하게 기억해서 그걸 남기고 싶어서 이미지를 남기게 됐어요. Yeah, so she was actually sharing a workspace with eight other people. And, uh, yeah, so as she was sharing the space, she, can, uh, she didn't realize it back then, like, that was kind of a good memory, but, you know, she kind of realized, you know, she had this, like, internal cruelty that was in her, that was, and that's how she got, kind of came up with the idea for the film. So it was not a household, but it was, um, you know, kind of roommates, kind of, but, you know, they were friends, but they didn't know enough about each other, so they didn't know about, like, the bad yeah, characters of each other, and that's how the conflicts began and stuff. Okay, so for the present, um, I'm going to ask you it just really struck me that you had the bicycle's um, kickstand computer in the eye. Like, I just love that. I was like, that is the most random way to injure yourself. But it's great, because I saw the post where it said, like, I won't know what happens to her eye. And it's like, it's great. It's perfect. I just wanted to have, like, figure out how did you just decide, let's get her in the eye with a, you know, bicycle thing. Yeah, so when I was a kid, I was the the flu of uh, hurt my eyes, and my eyes always turned to the red. So, Last question. <clears throat> this is for passers passers. Um, I'm going to show this to my class whenever we uh, read Georg Zimmel. I don't know if you've ever read the German philosopher about the metropolis and mental life, but I want to know what what city it was you're dealing with in that. You're not, not, not on the screen, but you personally. You know. What you guess. Yeah. You guess. Yeah. Want to guess? Yeah. <clears throat> Like, no. <laughs> I'd say Tokyo, but that was well. Right. Actually, it was a very small part was Tokyo, and the rest was Los Angeles. Yeah. The train station was uh, Tokyo, but I will have to get the name of that author again from you later. Um, but yeah, it was mostly just yeah inspired by living in a city and dealing with all the noises, and um, trying to think of a way to make annoying noises more fun and just orchestrate and organize them into something else. Mm -hmm.